My name is Anastasia Voronova. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Medical Genetics at the University of Alberta in Canada. I am also a Canada Research Chair in Neural Stem Cell Biology. As we often say, the cure for any disease is research. In my lab, we study KBG syndrome, focusing on the gene anchoring repeat domain 11, or anchored 11, that is mutated in patients with KBG syndrome. Using mice as a model organism allows us to mimic the majority of anchored 11 mutations that are observed in KBG syndrome patients. Recently, we published a paper that validated this model as a tool to study KBG syndrome. We want to understand what goes wrong when anchored 11 is mutated, so we can begin to understand how to repair a specific tissue of interest. We want to understand how the brain is built by neural stem cells, the building blocks of our nervous system. If we can understand how anchored 11 mutations alter these cells as the nervous system develops, we can begin to understand how these may manifest in behavior. Understanding the cause and timing of these events is critical for design of novel and precise therapies aimed at repairing those neural insufficiencies. We also want to understand how other organs, such as the heart, do not develop properly when anchored 11 is mutated. Here are some of the researchers in my lab that are working very hard to answer these questions. Hi, my name is Kara Goodkey and I'm a graduate student in Dr. Voronova's lab. I study how and when anchored 11 mutations cause atypical brain development in a preclinical mouse model. I'm also developing ways of culturing neural stem cells in a dish to test whether function can be restored via a pharmacological approach. Hello, my name is Jana Kabalnik and I'm also a graduate student in the lab of Dr. Anastasia Moranova. I study how anchored 11 mutations uh, alter heart development and function in a mouse model of KBG syndrome. I also study how atypical behaviors arise from anchored 11 mutations in the nervous system. While combining both areas of research, anchored 11 mutations and neural stem cell mediated recruitment and regeneration, we hope to one day ask a question of how we might be able to repair nervous system function and or behavior in our preclinical KBG syndrome mouse model, which will ultimately pave the way to the clinic. We are very grateful for the participation by KBG syndrome patients and their families. KBG community inspires our research. Moreover, and quite simply put, we couldn't do what we do without the support by the donors and the KBG community. We are proud of our research, but with rare disorders like KBG, the support by the donors and the patient community is crucial. With your ongoing support, we will continue to make discoveries that will, in time, help patients. If you would like to know more information about our research, visit our lab if you're nearby, or simply learn more information on how you can support our work, please do not hesitate to get in touch with me.